Well, hey, everybody. Good morning and good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. It's me, Jeff Lindbergh, host of the Craft Hour here at Pink Fresh Studio. What a pleasure to see each and every one of you on the Saturdays where we come together and create and connect. It's one of well, my hey, favorite good things good to do. Hey, there's that audio coming in. Jeff That's always super fun. Craft hour uh, let me get that Fresh muted studio. for you. Uh, so it's a good day because we have a guest that has been around the card industry and certainly has been in the chat quite a bit and has been a friend and supporter for a long time and has been one of those things that um, I've wanted to have her on the show because she's been so lovely and supportive to me that it made perfect sense for her to join us today. And as she joins the Pink Fresh Studio design team, it made uh, an even better opportunity uh, for her to do it. So let's get right to it. Let's bring her into the show and tell her, hey, you are going to have a great fun uh, Saturday with us. Please welcome to the show, my friend and great craft and uh, creator, Cheryl Espy. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome to the show. Hello. We're so glad that you have joined us. Goodness knows you have been in the chat quite a bit. You've been supportive and connected with me on Instagram quite a bit, but now we get to work together and it means the world to me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me and thank you to Pink Fresh Studio. Yeah, Pink Fresh Studio definitely loves you. And as you can see in the chat, our moderator in the sky, Heather Hoffman, is already reminding us that we love Cheryl. If you haven't seen her on camera, we think you'll fall in love with her too. And I can't agree more. As you all know, we do a rehearsal before the show. And it was one of those things where I wanted to ask her all the questions that I'm going to ask on your behalf to get to know Cheryl just a little bit. But we'll start with this one. Cheryl, where are we talking from? Where do you live your life? I'm talking from Calgary, Canada. Yes. Canada. Even you can Excellent. tell I'm not Canadian by my accent. Well, I was getting ready to say, you're not fooling anybody with that accent. That's not a Canadian accent. Where were you <laughs> raised? Um, I was actually raised on the east coast of England. And um, yeah, I moved to Canada in about 2006. And my apologies, that doggy is, if you can hear him barking in the back there, he's not backed at all since I've uh, been setting up. Of course, <laughs> it's only, and and by the way, we have a big delivery. I'll tell you about uh, the delivery coming soon. And the windows are open because it's a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida, where I live. And uh, Hazel Harper will premiere and bark and let us have it in just a few minutes because the mailman may uh, not only ring twice, but is going to ring during the show. I think is that the mailman only comes twice. I don't know what it is. Hey, in any case, uh, what is your dog's name? Otis. Otis. Well, Otis is welcome to the show. We are very dog friendly. Speaking of welcoming to the show. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the Craft Hour. I'm your host, Jeff Lindbergh. That's Cheryl Espy with Cheryl Espy Creates, a dear friend of the show dear friend of Pink Fresh and part of our design team. And we're going to make a beautiful card for you today. We have a job to make a card. You have a job to share and gain excitement about Pink Fresh Studio. And we would love to do that by a couple of housekeeping. One, keep that chat active. You know that our moderator in the sky will follow along with us, answer any questions that I may miss if my nose is down to the craft table. And give us a C if you're here for Cheryl. Show her how many people came just to see her and give her some love. And then in if you're new, and if you're watching on the replay, participate just as much because all of that counts to this big algorithm. Speaking of uh, sharing, give a thumbs up and take a picture of you watching the show, place it on our Instagram. You can see how we have our handles and our screens. We just want to connect with you. That's the best part of Craft Hour and the best part of the tenant of Pink Fresh Studio to be able to create and connect. So glad to see everyone here. Jennifer Donovan, we're so glad that you're here. And uh, Arsenia, the big C, Arsenia Wolf, uh, definitely says hello. We love her. Haven't seen her in a while. Roberta is always tried and true. Thank wow. you for the J. I appreciate that very much. That's very sweet. And at the top of the day, I just wanted to let you know, Catherine, I thought that was very sweet. Catherine France wanted me to uh, say congratulations. You know, Dan and I got married. Y'all will see a ring for the first time on the show. I've never had a ring before, so I'll be able to show that off. But the reason I'm even bringing this up is because Dan's ring had to be resized and it's delivered today by signing. So that means that the doorbell is going to ring right during the show. So glad everybody's here. Make sure you connect. And we're so happy to do it. So, hey, we have uh, some new products to be able to play with today. Uh, you have um, premiered a card sim similar to this on your Instagram. I fell in love with it and we decided to show everyone how to do it. Do you want to show off what we're doing today? 
Yes, I'll show you one that uh, can you see. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. So we are using. Use well. Yeah, today we are using the today is special and some outline floral frames. We'll show those to you on camera in just a few minutes, and yes, we're going to create gonna a that new one. outlook. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Use that one instead. Signature pink fresh studio, and it's going to be uh, perfect for today's show. So speaking of, uh, why don't I send you to your desktop? I'm going to send you to the waiting room, and we'll tune in with your desktop, and we'll get the show started. Sound good? Sound good. Awesome. All right. Hitting, hitting her off to the waiting room and back to me. Everybody, welcome to the craft hour. We have our moderator in the sky, Heather Hoffman, following us along, and we're going to make an amazing card and have a good time while doing it. Make sure you keep that chat active and give us a thumbs up so that we know what's going on, so we know how to connect and answer your questions, etc. All right. Perfect camera angle, Cheryl. All of those rehearsals went very well. We're good to go. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead you and go to see. my desktop desktop two and show me uh, what products we're using today. Okay. So yeah, we are going to be using the Detay is special photopolymer set. Uh, Cheryl's going to want us to do that with some heat embossing. So we've got heat embossing coming up. And Cheryl, uh, we're going to make it nice and easy because uh, stencils are involved, seven of them. And uh, they make it effortless to give uh, that um, embossed uh, work that we're going to do the color and dimension that it needs, right? And then we're going sure. to... Sure. Let's peel that <laughs> off. Peel Let's that do off. it. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be also started. using uh, the outline floral frame as well today, which we've pre-done, as well as some new sentiments in the new set, Wonderful Sentiments, with an amazing font. Um, yeah. I've still got a lot of thank you cards to do. So today I'll be using that. We'll even have a chance to use our stamp and press tool, which is so much fun because we do want to get this impression just right. And we're using different colors each. We'll introduce the colors to you a little bit later after we get our um, heat embossing done. All right, shall we do it? Let's do it. So, so Cheryl... Tell me really quick while we're uh, laying this uh, uh, little guy out, do you have any tips on um, how you like to heat emboss that you've learned over these years? Um, I think the bit for me is that the powder itself is one of the biggest things for me. Um, if it's it, it's that if you want fine detail, especially in something like this, it's having a real nice fine detailed embossing powder. I always have a backup little brush. Um, just to take off any stragglers because once it's dried you you've had it like you're not going to have a clear image so it's always um good to be able to do a really clear embossing imprint first and just check any extra um stragglers off before you heat emboss it if That's that makes great. sense yeah feather them off with any um uh, brush that you may have which is good I um, am a big fan of uh, Christopher's Brutus Monroe powders. I believe that they are a great uh, uh, product. I use Gilded. Who do you like to use? This is the one I'm using. Oh, Gilded. Yes. A little shout out yeah. to our friend Christopher. Yeah. It's great. Gilded embossing powder. Do you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm not good at the yellow golds, bright yellow golds. Um, okay. I struggle with those because um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a secret silver person. <laughs> um, okay. And so when I'm using gold, I like it to be more subtle. So I'm a champagne girl in more ways than one. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So I've, I get, I, I don't know, I always store my little powder tool in one of these. These are the, you know, the travel soap boxes. Okay. Yes, of course. Right. Um, and then I tap it off. And this is the bit where you're trying, obviously, when you heat emboss and it's taking um, away any chance of any static on there that you don't want. So that's the whole point of the, the powder tool. Um, and then and thank you. If for, it's a, thank you for reminding, because guess what? I did not uh, do that. I did not powder tool. You're probably saying it in the audience as we speak. So we'll. And I was and I, just a tip for people as well, when they're actually got a new stamp. I've used it a couple of times, but I tend to use like a rubber um, 
you'd call it a razor. We call it a rubber in the UK. Um, and okay. then you just like rub it along the top there. And it just takes off that excess um, from the processing. It takes off that excess. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Thing. Film. So okay. that's what I do before putting any of the um, Versamark ink on there. So that's what I've got. I've got Dazzle, but it's I've just grabbed the first one that I've got. And you basically, so you've done your powder in, and now you're just going to ink it up. Let's see uh, my um, fault for not uh, doing some anti-static. I think we're going to be OK on my end. And Pink Fresh Studio, if you didn't love them before, you've got to love them now after this tour. Ugh. Yeah, it's been great. All right, I am going to redo it because I'm just not as happy with it as I would like, but we've got a second because we've done so much before the show. So I'm just going to add one back. I'm going to do an extra, just an extra, extra. Okay. So that I know that. I've definitely got the imprint. It's just over as it moved. Yeah, first we'll mark back in oh, oh. here. Let's see. How are you getting on there, Jeff? Good, because I'm just doing a quick redo on the Gilded one more time before I heat it. I didn't love the impression, so. Vicki Davis asks, do you use the eraser every time you get ready to stamp or just that first time? No, just the first time. You can actually rub your hand over it as well. It's just taking that extra film from uh, the processing. But um, I find that the rubber just also gives it that little bit of extra um, cling, if that's why I use the rubber. I prefer the rubber myself, because you could have greasy hands and things. So, Right. I'm, I'm now going to do the uh, embossing piece. So let's see. Connie believes, look at that, that impression is much better on my end. So I'm so glad I took the time to do it one more time. Um, Vicki Davis uh, wanted to remind us that uh, that was the way to go and everybody confirmed. Connie says staying and crafting when it's freezing out is the best. I'm sure that oh, the weather gosh. across the nation has gotten a lot of people talking. How's the weather in Calgary? Right, sunshine. Every time I turn right, I get blinded. <laughs> 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 so I've, i have a blind so and of course i i have um very focal lenses plus lenses that actually um what is it when they change into sunglasses right right so, so my color tones can sometimes be a little, <laughs> a little bit off because this is a gorgeous bright craft room but that's the side effect right I so, believe that um, one of my favorite uh, residents of Hawaii just joined, and I'm so sad to say that I did not get a chance to say hello while visiting Walt Disney World, but I have to say, Sen, you did an amazing job covering everything at Walt Disney World with those stories on Instagram, et cetera. The smile of you and your family was fantastic. I was just so sorry I did not get a chance to say hello. Work has been quite a thing for me. Just gonna... Apologies for the noise. Same. You know, since foil has become all the craze, we haven't necessarily always gotten a chance to do uh, heat embossing and it never gets old, does it? Just the magic of heat embossing is so good. Cynthia okay. says that it's Illinois is breaking the cold today. So East Coast, hang in there. Sin says we had a blast and left yesterday. I know I saw and I felt so bad. Tina's visiting her grandson in Chicago, which is awesome. Julie's flat. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. 
Jensen, we will meet when you move here, because I know that that's a passion of yours. Cheryl, are you forever um, staying? I know you're trying to heat and uh, heat tool it right now. I'm sure I ask I, you I a question. <laughs> uh, um, are you a forever Calgary girl? Is this a forever home? Do you know, I thought I, we came for two years in okay. 2006 and um, we ended up um, just through our jobs. I'm, I'm a clinician and my husband was uh, is, an, is an engineer um, and they were two areas that needed people and I met such amazing you when you're leaving people behind you think of what you're leaving you what you don't realize is who you meet when you then go to the new place and right, right. Um, I've met some of my lifelong friends um, right. who I work with and blessed to have call friends as well um, and I've worked with them for 16 years so um, as well as friends obviously outside of work too so that's fantastic. Renee yeah. says that heat embossing got her hooked. So she's glad you're using that technique today, which is great. Um, Pink Fresh Studio makes it easy by making uh, stencils available to us. This particular set has seven, yet we're only using mm -hmm. four colors. Talk to me about colors and how many stencils we have to get through and any tips you may have about stencil use. Well, realistically with stencils, right? Um, for me, I like to go with the flow of my own flow, not necessarily the stencil flow. I'm a bit rebellious like that in everything. Um, and <laughs> so the, the bit for me is if I'm doing a floral and I'm looking at the colors of the florals, then I tend to keep going with the floral, even though it might not be the next one in line with the stencils. Hopefully that makes sense. Yes. Um, and also I think with color, um, color is one of those things that, you can't really go wrong with Pink Fresh Studio colors because everything goes really well together. You can tell that they've put that thought behind it um, when they've done the colors and it feels, it's felt very natural to me and build my confidence in my color choices. Um, so I'm gonna, you can see here, like I'm just gonna try and sort of match up because I'm terrible as well at being able to do it. <laughs> me too. In a way by the way, they make it very easy, but based on how I do. like to lay down the, um, the, the work surface, it doesn't necessarily always work. Um, I'm going to be using in my color palette today, Peach Fuzz by Pink Fresh Studio. That's always a must, as well as paired nicely to Fresh Pear. And then yeah. Olive is a darker green for me to use. And Blue Jay. And as you all noticed uh, recently on the show, my guests like to use different colors to show you the diversity. You are um, using what color, Cheryl? I am going to be using... Coral Reef, we know is Leah's favorite. Leah's I'm favorite. Gonna use, yeah, I might use the passion fruit. Um, and this is another thing around the colors. I will get, I will actually start blending in a minute. I'm reasonably quick once I get going. Um, with passion fruit, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it. I'm going to see how it comes out with the coral reef because sometimes I just like to use one ink and then go over it again. If that makes sense. Totally and my leaves, sense. I'm going to do in Rocky Slope. I was going to try and do it in the uh, Misty Coast, but I feel like the grey just is slightly off and I wanted more of a, um, a cooler grey. So that's my rationale. So I'm going to Fantastic. go with my coral reef. Yeah. What are you recommending that I start with on my four colours and which of the stencils should I get ready? I'm doing stencil one. Are you going with okay. stencil one first? Are you on? How far are you? I'm going to, yep. I'm going to follow a uh, stencil one. I'm going to do everything that you do. Right. Stencil uh, one. So... I'm doing the lightest floral color, whichever one you want for your floral color. Okay. And I'm sure Heather will let you know when these come available. Um, these brushes, but oh, they are heavenly. So I'm just going to go in and what one thing we tend to do is go in darker in the middle and then lighter on the outside. I'm unfortunately quite heavy handed, so I've got to try and not be heavy handed. Um, and just keep and can going you say there. one more time what I need to do? I need to do the. Stencil one. Right. But do I do Blue Jay light or Peach Fuzz light? I would do Peach Fuzz light. OK, great. Go 
because that will give you then you can keep using the peach fuzz light to do all your florals. And where will the blue jay come into? Ah, where will the blue jay come into? Well, if you actually look, there's two, you've got a floral that's different from the other florals. Can you see in the top left? Oh, yeah, okay, yep. Right, so that'll bring in your flash of blue jay. Okay. I mean, you could do it the other way around, do blue flowers. I know the one I showed you had blue flowers on it. This is your card, Jeff. This is mine. And we've yes. committed to the peach fuzz, so here we go. Okay. And you said you wanted to keep wanted me to keep this one light, correct? Yeah. Okay. Are we ready to move on to another stencil? I think we are. What stencil number now? We are on stencil two next. We're doing okay. one, two, and three in the original. So, like yeah. I say, you've either you you did you say you're doing your peach, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. So you can see here, look. Um, this is when it brings in the other flower. Can you see? Yes, absolutely. Right, and everybody, so, uh, we I have flipped my image, so it is the same image. It's just that we have both two different sides of it. And you said to use peach fuzz again. Am I going a little heavier or just lighter? On so this one? you do peach fuzz on the bottom one. This is where these two are different. So you'll do peach fuzz on the bottom one, which is with okay. the rest of the bunch of flowers. But this. This random one out here, I want, okay. uh, you know, you can do in your blue, lightly blue. And then also these little ones, they'll be blue. Okay, great. So Cheryl, how did you get into um, stamping, card making, scrapbooking? What was your journey like? What's my journey like? Do you know, I... I, I've said this, I've always been quite creative in, in the way I do things. I love, I've, I've moved homes way too many times, and but then I get excited about trying to decorate it. So that's the creative side of me. Um, when I was at school, I tend to do all the art competitions. And I remember, um, I think it was about 10, where I was ended up drawing Mr. I created Mr. and Mrs. Vinegar, who lived in a bottle under the sea. And they look oh. like little pictures. And I came second in the art competition. So I thought that was so exciting to me. To me. Um, right. And then I ended up moving here into uh, Calgary. And I came here and started setting up a little craft space. Uh, and I would say probably 2009 is when I started. Um, and oh, my goodness, you should have seen what I made in the early days. <laughs> <laughs> um but hey but our but our own critical eye i'm sure i'm sure it looked great right we, but i mean we ready it's we ready to came... move on to our new stencil i'm actually still on this one have you done your blue okay. already my blue's done yep okay i'm just gonna come in because i actually have decided to do these a bit darker okay. so i'm going to use the um where you're using the blue, I'm using the passion fruit, I've decided. This is another thing I do with crafting. I am terrible at total planning, right? I just, I go, oh, I kind of like that. And I go with it. No, I totally get it. But I think that's correct. But to me, that's crafting. You do what you want, what makes you feel good. Yeah. And I will say it continually, I, I sound like a broken record with this, but it really is easy when you combine all the Pink Fresh Studio stencils, they do the work for you. They keep you kind of in line so things don't get crazy. And it really makes it somewhat foul proof and uh, it makes it easier on you in the end and it gets you the product that uh, you want. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sen, about my rings. I'll show it in the next camera shot just a little bit better. And I believe that Renee has it right. We're our own worst critics. Vicky is also saying that our craft spaces uh, come and grow. They sure do. They do. Uh, <laughs> Candace is very worried about being late. Candace, it's fine. That's the whole thing about YouTube. You can come and go. Uh, let's get those uh, those thumbs up a little bit stronger, though, if you don't mind. We would love to make sure that we're um, celebrating those. All right, so I'm moving on to stencil three, and stencil this is three. to 
It's two colors or just one? I see that just I need one to use color. peach fuzz. Yeah. Just your one color, your peach fuzz. Okay. This is straightforward because it's the two flowers in the in the bouquet itself. There's the rings, everybody. I'll try to get them in the sunlight a little bit. Two, Dan has the uh, yellow gold and he did not add the baguettes and I added the baguettes on mine. Can't get it balanced in there, but y'all get the picture. Tell me about your uh, family life, Cheryl. What you got? Um, I have a son and a daughter um who were just lovely people and uh they're in the 30s um oh and i have okay. yes and i have three grandboys um and my three but they're 11 uh tw 12 11 and 7 um so and maybe more maybe some more in the future um you so never we'll know see. you never know and of course i'm over here with with my hubby craig and uh, oh look at that that looks nice me like yeah we like a good stencil reveal that's always a good feeling right yeah yeah erica is here hi erica you can check out erica's uh episodes on the show she's definitely been with me before right during the pandemic as well. Patty H., we're so glad that you're here. Thanks everybody for getting those thumbs up going. That always definitely helps the show. With a roughly large um, audience size, uh, we can definitely raise that number. And that way we can start um, with our um, celebration of giving out a gift a little bit later today, which is good. All right, super fun, peach fuzz moving along. Yeah, so the next one you need, you're going to jump. You've done three stencils, but jump to number seven now. Okay. Um, and then you can, you, you'll need your two colors again. Um, and then you'll go in with your peach fuzz and the blue jay. And I'm going to go in with the coral reef and the passion fruit. Because this is the, the shading area, which uh, these stencils that Pink Fresh do are so gorgeous in the way that they can suddenly bring this floral alive. I had in these extra stencils, which I love. And shout out to Erica. Hi, Erica. <laughs> Erica's yeah. such a, a good advocate and a great person. Yeah, there's um, that's, and I'm sure you've seen this as well. And you definitely live into what you're saying here just by who you are as well. That's my favorite thing about the crafting audience is the um, support and passion. Um, the interest in success versus the interest in defeating. Um, Absolutely. One of the most important things. And again, just to say it on camera, I, I really think um, how connected you've been to me and how supportive you are of the show. And um, that just means the world, you know? Well, I think, you know, there's, we're not living in a great world at the moment. And I think it's important to build people up. I don't, I work in mental health. I mean, I've seen what things ha happen to people, right? And we've all got our own experiences. We're all bringing our own thing. But you've got to find something that brings you joy. And if someone's going to put effort in to bring themselves joy, then I'm sorry, they need positive feedback for that. Um, yeah. So. I recently, and not to get too much into it, I recently learned that lesson. Um, I had a, a dear friend that, I kind of yucked their yum, if you will, and um, did so in a way that I haven't been very proud of. And it's kind of um, kept me up at night. It's a mistake that I made and it really damaged our friendship. But at the end of the day, it's that lesson that you're saying you want to not do. You want to um, be supportive. And I call it um, yucking your yum when when you take <laughs> somebody's you know um, yeah. goal set down. You know, that's just a horrible feeling. So it is one of those moments where um, I kind of think about it often because you're right. We got to lift each other up. It's crazy times right now. Yeah, and I think it's um, you. one thing I learned many, many years ago, especially early on is in my mental health training, is that people, um, you don't know what's going on behind that person just because they're smiling. You need to, you know, everyone's carrying their burden. 
So. Yeah. Well, I have um, some escaped blue um, that has made its way onto some other flowers. Uh, so that's not my favorite, but we shall prevail and hopefully uh, blend that out just a little bit, a little bit later. Uh, which you, one would you have like you for finished, me to go? Are you done the seven? Sorry, have you done number seven, have you, now? Yes, yeah. number seven is finished, and that's where and I if brought you can in see that, a little bit of blue. It, can you see, like, the tone of the way yeah, it brings Yeah, how it out? popped everything, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we are going on to back to four, right? So we've done one, two, three, and seven, but that got most of the florals out of the way. Um, so now I'm going to go into the leaves, and I'm going okay. to do the rocky slope, and I'm assuming, what did you have? Did you have pear? Fresh pear, yeah. Fresh pear. You want me to go with the lighter color right now? Yes. Yeah. And I, when I was looking at these, we're going to go four, five, and six. So these are in okay. order at least. Um, so I'm just checking my numbers, so I've got it. Yes, there's four. Ah, so lovely. I love them all. And you'll see, like, with some of these as well, that um, they, they've got some of the inside and then they've got some of the outside. So you've got to move the stencil around the way that you feel happy with. Okay. Adding in that fresh pear. I think I'm doing this. There you go. I knew I had it. I was like, you know, when you look at a stencil and I'm like, I can see it. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, I love it. That's the good thing, I think, as well. You know, with embossing, it's so cool to be able to do this on top. The colours. Love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. And we know that uh, D. Our former uh, design partner will love that you're doing a very different leaf type. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you know what's do you know what's really uh, like? You know when I was saying about um, the other color. This to me, and this could be my glasses. The Misty Coast has a slight um, browner tint to it. Okay. Right. Um, whereas with the Rocky Slope, it's got more of a cooler tint which you'd say well surely if you're using coral reef and passion fruit and gold you should use a warmer tone color but not really <laughs> right right because i'm rebellious and i don't do that <laughs> so i'm like and I, do you know what I, I was thinking where does my inspiration come from and i'll tell you what i wear clothes like i make cards i've decided Okay. So Say more. Colors. Well, you know, this we're all sort of surrounded by inspiration, and I find that all my tops are floral, and they've all got different color combos. And so, in reality, I'm probably like I say, we're in a like the colors I've chose today. I have mm -hmm. a top with the flowers like this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 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 kind of just the world around us is just full of color and exciting combos, and that's what I use. Am I? I'm dying to see what this is going to look like. Um, are we ready on my next stencil to go to the olive, or stay with fresh pear for right now? Oh, look at that! Sorry, I get excited still. I'm glad you do. Yeah, I want <laughs> you to get excited. Uh, do you want me to um, go with sorry, the lighter, or is it time to bring in the darker color? I think it's, um, I personally think you should keep with the light because if you go on to the next stencil, which is number five, you'll see that you still got a few where they need the bigger, um, the full leaves. So it's the full leaves that you need him really to be um, lighter, if that okay, makes sense. Great. Yeah. So you can see what I mean there. Yeah. Sorry, I talk to myself as well when I'm crafting. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does that. And I love uh, Fresh Pear with the gilded gold. You're right. It just uh, looks it's so It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. 
Roberta actually echoes that that's her favorite part of working and seeing the show today. She says, I enjoy um, hearing Cheryl's joy when she crafts and how it comes through, which is great. Uh, Pink Fresh Blending Brushes that yes. haven't released yet. Yes, I don't even have them yet. It's very exciting. Can't wait to get them I've myself. I've got some, but that's because <laughs> that was on. <laughs> Seriously, what I've loved about, I mean, I got some other ones and they were just cheap, cheapest because I was finding a gap that I needed to do these kind of things with. And then um, Pink Fresh, I got these from one of the um, Creating Connects. And okay. I'm telling you, like, they're just such good quality. Oh, I love them. So, so I've done that one too. You can see I'm trying not to go to right to the very end and keep it dark the closer into the floral it is. Okay. And I'm going on to my last one now. Are you? Yes, ready How to go over doing? there. And this is where I pull out that dark olive. You could do, or you could keep um, using the pear. It's up to you. What do you okay, think? I, I think I'm going to lightly use the olive and I'm going to pull out um, the closest thing that I have with one of these brushes, but it's not uh, it's not with uh, Pink Fresh. So I'm going to say it's going to be great, but I've never used it before. So let's see what it's like to use a smaller brush with a little more detail. You'll not go back. Wow, you can direct it a little easier, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, when you want in that softer shading where it on the outside, but darker in the middle, you've got more control over that. Because if you do it in the circle and start in the center, you'll see that on the actual um, stencil itself, you get excess uh, ink. So then what you do is you just move that around and push it out. Right. Okay. We're nearly, this is our last stencil. Moving right along, half hour in deep with the show. We're doing well. Hope everybody's having fun. You're watching the Craft Hour here at Pink Press Studio. I'm your host, Jeff Lindbergh, and I have the honor of hosting this show semi-regularly on the channel. If you're watching live or the replay, we're glad to have you here. Both Cheryl and I would love to see you over on Instagram. We're both very social and uh, connected there on that platform. And uh, Cheryl, at the end of the show, will give you other places to find her. But we just know that this community is better by engagement. So thank you so much for engaging in the comments or reaching out to us on Instagram. Our moderator in the sky, of course, is one of my amazing leaders, Heather Hoffman, who is in the show talking to all of you and linking everything. Remember giving a, a quick bop over to our website. And purchasing items, maybe with a gift card that you could win a little bit later, is a perfect way to have fun on your Saturday, right? So yeah, I hope everybody is having a good time. Um, let's, let's check in with everybody. Let's see how everybody's doing as we're going along. Uh, we have uh, Catherine loving this. That's great. Um, Jennifer says she chats with her cat, which is good. I talk to <laughs> Hazel Harper all the time. I'm trying to see if she's in here. Hazel Harper is uh, not in the office right at the moment, or I would have her say hello. Um, Jay Claire says, great afternoon with crafty friends. That's exactly what we're doing. We're creating and connecting. That's what Craft Hour is all about. Um, Vicki Davis asks, how many brushes will be in the set? Heather will answer that question for you. And uh, Tina says, I love the support and teaching of this community. Yes, it's one of my favorite things as well. Yeah, don't forget to engage in the chat. That's how uh, we pick our gift card winner. We'll have a gift card winner a little bit later in the show. And uh, Cheryl and I will come back, of course, on camera after we're finished making the card. All right, I got to get back to card making. And I'm going to peel peel the, um, I'm going to peel the reveal. There we go. Looking good. Catching that light perfectly, which is nice. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Heather Hoffman, HH. You are two different HHs, though. You're two different HHs, but yeah, you both have the same HH. All right. Cheryl, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. I can't see my picture on there, so I'm not sure if you can. Yep. Let me bring you back. Uh, it was on a view that um, was only whoever was speaking. So let me put it back on gallery. There oh, you go. Well, Shut it off. So there you go. 
quite different. Yeah, mine's lighter and a little ethereal, but that gray, my goodness, that definitely makes it more dramatic, uh, it? which is super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we die cutting this yet or is it too early to do that? I think we should be die cutting. Okay, great. Let's do it. Everybody, as you know, this uh, set does come with a matching die cut to it, and we need that for this next step in the show. So we're going to take that out and get that ready. My uh, my magnetic um, mat is well loved. I do yes, a lot. I need to find out more about um, your. Everybody has been using your. Um, and tell tell us about your die cutting machine because everybody uh, talks about it how it's hard to get. Yeah, it's. Do you know what the die, I've ended up buying the Anna Griffin Empress, right? And um, the reason why I was getting repetitive strain, um, just leaning to the left, doing the same motion because I had the spellbinders, but the big one. Um, yeah. And I've, so I decided to invest in an electronic machine and it was actually Carissa Wiley that had sort of talked me into it because um, it, she was saying how good the die cut she was getting. And then I think it was, it's been promoted several times um, each year winning top with um, Jennifer Maguire. So I thought, right, cause it is an investment, right? Um, mm -hmm. And they cost a lot of money, but it's the most solid um, die cut machine I've ever had. And it cuts fabulously well. And I think the secret is this super thick um, magnetic mat, which literally suctions the die on. <laughs> um, and I never get bored of that. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, I highly recommend it. So you can see here, I'm just going to, so even if I like when I'm putting it on this mat, I just, I, all I need to do is just literally just move it a little bit and it just stays in place. Like, no sticky tape. How awesome is that? Yeah, let me um, make that. Um, let me get off the camera so that you can show off really quick. Show them one more time. So, so look, I don't know if you can actually see like this because it's an electronic. Uh, sorry, electronic super magnetic mat, which I think is the secret. It actually sticks to it. So I don't need to use tape. So just go. fantastic yep yeah and the metal shim i always put the metal shim in um and i will do because it's an intricate one i will do this twice i'll do it like through my machine this way and through my machine that way um so forgive me for the noise but i found it for like say these more intricate dies it's a lot it's so easy but you'll see in a minute because i'll uh, show you how i take it off yeah that's great the only thing i'll say is um I'm, as the empress don't like the color <laughs> oh <laughs> so, it's not your favorite and, color huh no uh, people know i'm a very matchy person so you can see that it's cut and then what i'm going to do is is just take that off beautiful that's fantastic that's awesome okay and then there is mine which is super fun I've got some um things to poke out real quick let's do that that's for the next one great and before the show you had us make a, a separate one to give it just a little bit of dimension do you want us yep. to go ahead and do that now or are we waiting um, I'll do that in a minute when we put all the bits together because we, once we get the glue out, we can do both the layers for the um, frame as well as this. So we'll put that to the okay. side. Let's go to our, our base panel. Okay, great. Now, so this what is going to be a fun uh, way to add some texture. I love yes. this idea. Tell everybody what we're doing. We're actually going to score the back. So part of me was like, shall I use um, another die to do? Because I like I like dimension and I like that different textures. But I felt like the floral so beautiful. I thought, would it be kind of nice just to be if you've got a coloured um, floral frame, just to have that white backdrop. But it it was too plain, so I decided right. to score it. 
And I think roughly, if you're looking at like it, to what I could, I, I did approximately one in uh, one half an inch, sorry, um, each time. If you've got, I don't know what your measurement is on your scoreboard. A few inches. Yeah. I'm old yeah, fashioned. I, I talk no, inches. That's okay. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do inches here, and I think I'm going to do them um, in fours. Let's see. So one. Yeah. So six, this is the, this is this is my faithful. I've had this since two thousand nine. <laughs> it's got my. Um, it's the old. We've all done stamping up before, but this has got everything measured. And so I can whip through any size card I want. Um, that's why I, I'm using this as my score. So I'm literally just gonna score and just keep moving it along. Moving it along, perfect. I'll do the same. Yeah. Almost gives it a um, wood panel background. Yeah. And it's just such an easy thing to do, like for everything. You can do frames as well. People should think about that too. They can do frames. How are you getting on there? I'm quiet because I was counting my sixes out real quick, but okay. Great. I have a little ouchy from, and it's hard to see, but now you can see it. I did an ouchy by doing one wrong, but I bet I can give the illusion and make it all right when we cover it up. So you'll never know. Yeah. You'll never know that I messed up. Let's check in with the comments. Patty H says, thanks for telling us about the Empress. I had right shoulder surgery last year. So Patty, I hope things are going better there. And my big shot is still hard for me to use. I'll be investing in one of these soon. Uh, Marsha Fellner says, taping all the dies is time consuming. So of course that Empress magnetic platform really uh, will help, which is good. Deb says, check um, home shopping network for the Empress, which is good. And hi, Sherry. I'm glad that you uh, you have them there. That's awesome, which is good. All right, so we have our our, our faux wood panel, if you will. And uh, folks, I'm being fully honest that I uh, did a wrong count there. So I'll fix that by uh, laying some flowers and framing. What's next, my friend? Right, so we've got the panel. We've got the flowers. We're gonna go to the floral frame, which is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Yes. And that is one that we definitely did before the show. Uh oh, everybody. My one of my besties, John Scott, is in the chat. He is not a crafter, but he is here, as he always is, to tease me. And he says, I'll know you messed up. Yes. Knowing him, he will remind me weeks later while we're on vacation together that I messed up with Cheryl SB on the show. So just know that, Cheryl. Know that there's a lifeguard at the side of the pool named John Scott. <laughs> Hi, John Scott. <laughs> Hi, John Scott, old charmer. Okay, uh, so uh, this we did um, off camera, but I'll be outline floral frame and uh, talk about an intricate but impactful die cut. Um, worked really well in the Empress. Uh, Cheryl loved it. And uh, mm. we went ahead just for time purposes, because we're already getting close to the hour and we doubled up. I doubled up mine. She's going to cut hers live and show off that Empress one more time. But you yeah, can see even so with that mess up, I can kind of fix yeah. it. keep going, my friend. I'm sorry to interrupt. I think as well you did white, didn't you, Jeff? With the yeah, I'm glad I did. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just got all I've done is is just pick up this pink. Um it's got a bit of a salmon to it. So I've got like a frame, a piece of uh, cardstock from my stash, which I think from Michael's or whatever it was. Um and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put actually through this through twice, but on two different angles, if that makes sense. Vertical yes. first and then horizontal second time. And by doing that, it just it actually does save time because, as you know, with these intricate dies, you've got so many little bits and pieces. Um, and I think the metal shim might help, but you'll see what I mean. So take that off 
and then I use my brush. I keep as a tip, you can take that off the middle bit, but keep it in the frame, right? And just brush. Christina says that uh, frame is so pretty. Esther says, John Scott, go easy on Jeff. It's hard to do what he's doing. Yes. <laughs> Esther Rodriguez, I don't know you, but I now want to know you. Thank you for defending me against my evil friend. You should see how he treats me in person. <laughs> and we still, well, he doesn't love me, but I love him. We go on vacation together. We've got um, a trip to um, uh, California coming up to visit Disneyland Resort. And we're going to Las Vegas and we've got a cruise. I'm not, I'm not a cruise first person, but I'm excited to try cruising for the first time, which is very exciting. And I guess we're going to take him along. Carissa Wiley, I'm headed to California in a couple of weeks, just to let you know. Hi, Chris. I didn't know you were here. So glad to have you join us as well. I guess it would help if I put my face on the camera. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look how easy it is for Cheryl getting that frame done. Again, I did mine before the show. She's got that beautiful, nice uh, pinkish salmon, which will nicely go. Everybody's loving you with um, uh, your empress. Let me tell you. Yeah, yes. and I, I've John tried Scott has been ones. up in the craft room. He has uh, not tried crafting, though. We should put him on camera and see how he does. Right, just getting rid of my bits. So, in true fashion, I did one earlier. <laughs> Good. I also did one in green. Ooh, Look. nice. Because I, I was thinking, you know, oh, what about green? But no, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I mean... I feel like it drowns the gray out. So I'm going to uh, stick with my original plan. Okay. So we've got the, we've got that, we've got that. And I think we could bring in that. Okay. So shall we do a bit of gluing? Let's do some gluing. Let's do some gluing. Which Marissa, is... you're coming here. Wait, Krista, there's a thing called the iPhone where you can tell people that you're headed places. Cheryl and I have used the iPhone very successfully this week. Yeah. What would we do without the iPhone? It's just been for us in social media um, and doing this. It's just been a godsend. I agree. To be able to, you know, I took photos with it. I talk with it. I've been appled. <laughs> oh, look beautiful right okay if you know anything about me you'll know I'm a dimension girl and okay. uh, before I even ever heard Laura Basson saying it's life let me tell yeah. you you just didn't know me but I was saying oh, that years ago you were saying because... dimension is life forever <laughs> huh <laughs> yeah because like I love dimension I love texture I love you know, all the things, as you know yourself as a crafter, like we all love those kind of things, right? So this is a bit tedious, but it's so worth it because it adds to me when you're actually layering up, it adds a quality to the card. And that's the way I feel about card making. It's got to feel like I'm giving not just a card, but I'm giving something that is quality and that it's... Um, people feel like the it they can't throw it away <laughs> perfect so really quick um do you need for me to start um gluing my frame too because you know i've done the double is it time to get it ready for the base yes okay absolutely so if you, have you done your florals as well um yes they are double stacked ready to go perfect so now it's just doing your frames we've got this got this everybody this is, you're right, a little bit of the tedious part. Bear with us, everybody. We're not going to be able to look at the comments for a minute. Uh, Miss Heather, do you want to randomly select somebody for a gift card and remind me what we're giving away today? I will watch the moderator chat and you can tell me what we got. Oh, 
Hope everybody has been giving us a thumbs up and sharing on your favorite Instagram or social media channels, Facebook groups where we're all connected and shared that you're watching the show and telling everybody to watch the replay, get to know Cheryl just a little bit better. I know a lot of people will be following Cheryl, but she'll appreciate the follow as well as a connect. Um, that's the way that we started talking to each other was by Instagram chat. So I'm hoping that you'll do the same for her. Can I just say to people as well who are watching and anyone who sort of watches it, you know, afterwards, I want to say thank you to everybody because, you know, just being able to do something that feels that brings you joy, but then also you feel that you can inspire other people to have a go. And I try not to do too complex cards for that reason. Um, you know, I do colour in and the colour in truly is a way for me to help me breathe and w manage my own anxiety, as it is with a lot of people. Um, but I just want to thank people for so the support I've had. I don't think I've had any negative comments from anybody in all the time that I've been on Instagram, which is phenomenal. Um, and I know that sometimes it's not always that positive, but I just want to thank everyone for who's joined today and who follow me. Um, it makes me truly happy. And I do try to respond to every single comment. Well, oh, that's it. This is why we love Cheryl, everybody. Come on. Was that just the nicest thing ever? And uh, uh, Cheryl, we're so excited to share that we're giving away a $15 gift card that you can use Ooh. to buy any of the products that you've seen today. And that is going to Anne-Marie Bachman. Anne-Marie, congratulations. That is awesome. All right, Miss uh, Cheryl, we've got to get pumping here because uh, we are out of time. Uh, but we can do this. We can finish this up. I've decided I'm going to try a blue card base. Um, okay. To, we could uh, just get it all glued on now. Yeah, let's yep, get it glued. My, yep, let's get it glued and keep Get going. it on the base. Let's get it on the base. Heather, you're going to be so proud of me. I feel like you set me up with this floral. So we are going to cut that floral, girl. We're going to cut floral. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest with you, but I'm trying to be brave. Um, if I can do it, anybody can. Let me tell you. Well, it's, I think I think it was Heather and Leo says, taking me onto the dark side. It's one of those things as well. It looks so good. I start I started doing other shapes and cutting to them first. <laughs> then I started cutting leaves, <laughs> and I slowly <laughs> got myself into doing <laughs> the florals. And now I've got no choice because I can't put a floral slap bang in the middle of something. It just doesn't feel right. Right. So I'm just going to literally place that on the card. Really easy. Okay. Put my weight on. And then it's just placement. Think of this. Do you want an horizontal card or do you want a vertical card? I would like to do a um, vertical card portrait, please. Yes. So, okay. Shall we do that together then? Okay. So, so I always like looking, if you actually look, I gravitate towards the left to put my floral reason being there's a really nice, on the top left corner and the bottom right corner, there's a really nice bunch to see. And I kind of like that. And there's an opening here. So part of me feels that the floral would go in this corner. I don't know if everybody yeah. else agrees with me, but uh, that's how I feel. So I'm also a dimension girl again. So I, I don't know if you've got dimensionals available, but I'm going to literally just think of where I'm going to place it. And then I'm going to put my dimensionals there and then place it on there. Okay. I'm going to try to get rid of my... Now, uh, having said that, are we using the um, other half anywhere else or just this is it, right? Well, we're not half in it, right? So if you look, if you half it, actually, you can't get a really good seat. So what I'm okay. going to do is, I don't know if I can roll it over to show you. So I'll put it on the yeah. bottom corner, look, and you can see I'm going to, that will sit into that corner and I'm going to cut there and I'm going to cut there. And then I'll use those pieces around the edge. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm going to be that good, but we will see. We shall see. <laughs> you can do this. So all I'm going to do is just get my. Dimensionals. And I am a bit of a snob with my dimensionals because I, I, I don't have much patience for 
picking at um, dimensionals that don't let the the uh, top cover come off very easily. <laughs> so right. So all I've done is just put them there, and I'm just literally gonna place it on that bottom corner. And I like this this coming out here, this leaf here. It's, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking, oh, that would look nice to complement that colour. That would look nice actually coming up there. I don't know if any of this is making sense, but that's what goes through my head. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. So, and then I'm going to press that down. And then turn it over. So I'm only going to use this one side because there isn't much on there. I don't think that would look right. So I'm just, by turning it over, what's really helpful is you can actually see where the edges are cutting. And then you cut. I'm sure it's crying right now. Ah, there you go. Oh, therapy. There you go. Look at that. Looks so effective. So cool. And then I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with that. So it'd look quite good up there, don't you think? I think it would. You can sometimes do that. So we see that looks good too. But I want, I've got, I'm going to put it like that because I want to put my sentiment there. So I'm going to do the same there with my dimensionals. How are you getting on there, Jeff? I like that you say the word uh, dimensionals. That's fun. Is that what instead they're of, called? Instead of phone, phone tape, you say oh, dimensionals. I do, yes. There you go, that's that. I tend to always put it on the card base before I do my final pieces. I don't know whether this is just a me thing. And I have one prepared. And I because there's a lot of dimension, normally I would use, um, Leah makes these um, foam pads on the back and I normally do that. But because there's quite a lot of dimension, I thought I would Maybe just tape it on. Let me see how I feel about that. No, I need to do a phone tab. Can't go. And these uh, great array of sentiments are part of the wonderful sentiments. As you can see, we pre-did these in the show. Mine are done with champagne. Um, yep. And I'm doing, thank you, Nar. Thank you, cards. Nar, thank you, Nar. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to do so grateful. That's mine. And you're right, I should probably do a quick check. There we go. We are definitely over time, so I'm going to... Are we over time, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we are a little bit, aren't we? Let me just, I hope people just... are okay with that. Are you kidding? They'll be fine. But I would like to say goodbye to everybody before you all jump, so let's do this. And I just just to show people as well, you probably just said this as well. I did do a load of die cutting um, and just you could, the sentiments. I also layer them up, too. But you can see the something like that. Something like that. Looks wonderful. Hope your day is wonderful. I like that. one. Great. And then I layer it up. Just about done. This is definitely, you know, with some of the prep, you can actually do this in an hour. I think when you're talking. Oh, yeah, we definitely talked a lot. And I haven't seen the audience for a while. So we had some chatting to do. So there you go. And then we just put a dimension and of course you can sit it in there in your gap 
but you can see how you could probably do it that way. It could have been landscape. There you go. Now that and and I like it to go over. So there you go. All right, Miss Cheryl, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, get you back to your desktop so that we can say goodbye to everybody. Let me just place my sentiment okay. in there. And then you just add your bling anyway. We are there. We still did it. You just add yeah. your bling. Which there I would go. use. Oh, yeah. The, uh, I think we're done. Super fun. All right. Let's uh, get you um, back, stand by. I'm gonna put you over to your desktop and we'll get going. Everybody, we have just had so much fun making a card with Cheryl SB and Cheryl SB Creates. Uh, let's get her over uh, and a uh, hello so that we can get a nice solid goodbye. This beautiful card, with a so grateful and catch it in the light there. That. Um, so fantastic. You wanna show yours off really quick too? I do. Yes. It's great. So much fun, so much dimension. I want to catch the paneling in the background there, but it's not catching in the light, which is fine. Yeah, it's hard hey everybody, to thanks for uh, landing the plane with us and staying a little bit after school. We appreciate it. I hope that it's you are watching on replay and if you have make sure that you connect with us uh, again uh, you can see me at mr jeff Lindberg there in the corner say hi on instagram especially if you're new and at cheryl sb creates at uh, instagram but there's more where else can people find you and what are you doing next cheryl what am i doing next well they can find me at cheryl sb creates i've got a blog there and um i also help um alex iberia designs as well do some of this um and generally i think we've got a new uh, create coming up um, yes in february which i'm excited to be joining in with so i'll be there in the chatter i'm not teaching or anything but i'll be there in the chatter yeah and i will be uh, hosting that so i can't wait to introduce everybody and we can have um fun i'm getting i'm trying to see if um, i got permission to talk about something and i don't remember that i did so i'm gonna wait and talk about it later. Um, that just means there's more surprises. We have planned all of the uh, uh, craft hours for the next three or four releases. Uh, so we're coming up again almost once every single month, typically about this time frame per month, unless I'm on vacation with that John that we were talking about earlier. Um, but other than that, we're going to have fun. Uh, Cheryl, I hope you had a good time. You were a perfect guest and a perf perfect instructor to help me along the way as I galloped along beside you. You're, you're a pers perfect person to ride in the, in the storm with. Thank you. Thank you. I awesome. enjoyed it. Well, that's great. Thanks again for watching uh, the Craft Hour, everybody. Catch replays of all of my guests, as well as several seasons of fun, uh, no matter whether it was our first episode or this one with Cheryl. It's always fun to be with you, and you learn so much and have a good time getting ideas and meeting the great craft industry that we have on the show. That's the magic of the show. All right, my friends, enjoy your Saturday. Have a great weekend. No matter what the weather serves you, we will see you soon. Thanks, everybody.